decided to walk to the Apple Store because it's turned into such an awesome day out. This morning I went to the storage unit, had to get out the uh, summer clothes, put away the winter clothes, and it was really crappy out. Almost looked like it was gonna rain. But now, it's super nice out. Good work, Chicago. You see, I'm from Michigan, and in Michigan, everyone drives everywhere. And now I live in Chicago, and there's like an awesome public transit system here, don't get me wrong. But on days like today, I just gotta get out and walk. Beautiful blue sky, it's not too bad. Uh, heading to the Apple store, I have to get a connector to go for an iPhone to a TV. Uh, it's my fiance's bridal shower this next weekend, and uh, we've got some stuff lined up for her so I get a connect to the TV. We'll have to stick around and see what that is. But here we go. So I just walked by this Indian curry place and it's right by my house and I've always wanted to go there but there's always just cat One day I'm just gonna go in there. Maybe I'll do it for one of these, one of the vlogs. I'll go in there and just order and see what happens. Allison's bridal shower is coming up, which also much going on around here in my neighborhood. All of this stuff is getting built in here. They've torn down so many extra buildings here. I'll show you. Like all of this is new. We've got like a ton of construction equipment up in here. This building is all new over here, all over here. There's like a Target that's at the top of that building is over there. All of this used to be Cabrini Green, the housing project. So it's actually all really new, it's really nice. I also just realized that I did not address my facial hair situation right now. If you have checked out anything on my channel before, I do some beard oil reviews, uh, beard balm reviews, you know, pretty much any men's care products. Um, I don't do them, you know, just for a job or anything. I do it just for fun. So uh, go ahead, click the exclamation point in the corner. But uh, yeah, today's just a good day. It's a good day to be alive, you know? Also, the vlogger problems are real today as I have my arm out walking down the street kind of by myself with this parade of traffic going by. Everyone's like pointing at me and like, what is that guy doing? He's a complete psychopath. Oh wait, he's just a millennial. It's kind of been a crazy couple weeks. Uh, a lot of client work uh, in addition to my regular work. So as some of you guys may know, uh, I work at the agency full time, but on the side, I also do some consulting and whatnot, so it's just been kind of crazy. Oh god, you gotta check this out. This is what happens when you feed the birds. It's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie up in here. Oh my god. Heads up. Well, like I was saying, work is crazy, and there's all kinds of stuff going on. I'm gonna be in New York next week, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's been insane. So. But hey, sorry I was distracted by these skateboarders trying to do some tricks off this brand new building. Who would have thought that on Halstead and Division we needed a indoor skydiving? But hey, while we're at it, why don't we watch this crazy guy? I thought I was almost about to witness someone's death. Besides the fact that I'm 230 pounds, have no skateboarding ability, you would not catch me doing that. I do crazy stuff. Not that crazy. Not that crazy to jump into the street on a skateboard knowing that I'm about to go down. No thanks. I'm 
so ADD. I just keep getting distracted I'm trying to tell you guys what's going on in my life. And I got nothing because so much stuff going on on the street today. But like I say, been totally crazy with client work. Uh, one of my clients, Kyle Gott, if you ever heard of him on YouTube, uh, I work with him a lot, uh, developing a lot of his properties and stuff. Great, great guy. Click the exclamation point. But if you're on mobile, tap the screen and click that way. Uh, go check out, give his channel a follow. Uh, he's a guy in the Air Force, does a lot of really great stuff. So go check him out. me out earlier and I had a sweatshirt on and so I exchanged it for this flannel underneath thinking that might be a little lighter but kept with the leather jacket you know it's a bad weather choice now for walking Ugh, I hate it when I do that we're here alright guys so I'm gonna pick up some stuff really fast and I'll be right back at you I feel like I maintain a pretty good love-hate relationship with the Apple Store. I mean, like, who doesn't like to go to the Apple Store and browse around and look at all the cool shit? But there are so many people in there. This is insane. But we got what we need. Good to go. Whenever I walk around Chicago or if I'm in New York, even internationally, obviously internationally, but I hear all these people speaking multiple languages, and I'm so jealous i don't know if i'm just stupid or what you know i took like spanish in high school and things and i tried a foreign language in college but i could just never get it and i think the united states as a, as a whole i mean we do like kind of a crap job of you know speaking multiple languages and we we need to get better at that because it's pretty awesome when you're in another country just speaking a language and no one else on the street can understand what you're saying. The fact that I live down the street from this place is dangerous. Ice picks. I love REI so much. I spend way too much money in there. Which is why I try not to go in there often. REI, if you're watching this, hook me up. I always kind of forget how long this walk is. Oh well, though. We're gonna get it. Gotta catch this light. Gotta catch this light. Oh. Okay. Crazy drivers down Halstead Street in Chicago. Can't take any chances. So this should be an interesting process, but I wanted to talk a little bit about why. And you know, it all kind of goes back to when I was really young. I always wanted to be in film. I always liked to make movies as a kid and stuff. Put them together. I did a film project in high school. I really loved it. And then in college, somewhere along the line, I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. And I wanted to be in advertising. And you know, advertising is a lot of fun. I've learned a ton in that. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's not necessarily a creative outlet for me. It's not, it's not a hobby like filmmaking was. And so as a way to keep me onto this and keep me developing film and trying this out, um, and just doing something to do, making me feel uncomfortable. That's one of the things that I really believe in, that if you ever get comfortable, meaning that it's not challenging anymore, you don't push yourself to be innovative, that you need to find something new and find something different, or at least find some new aspect to challenge you personally and professionally. So that's why I decided to do this. So let's see how it goes. So I'm heading back home now, uh, after going to the Apple Store, and I'm gonna sync up with Al, Allison, and yeah, we'll just probably get some lunch from there, so 
I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do. I gotta work on a couple websites. I gotta do some some social media community management. Um, to pretty much do that 24/7. Now that we're connected with our phones and everything. So yeah, I'm willing to bet 150% that when I walk in, she'll be watching Daredevil on Netflix. Let's see. Kind of hot out today. Right where I thought I'd find you. With the cats. I'm watching Daredevil. <laughs> fell into the daredevil trap. Took like a couple hour nap, but it was a good day. But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I've got a ton of work to do, so now I have to get to work, guys. It was great taking you guys with me today, but we'll see you on another day. Hey.